Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today I'm bringing you guys an app review, and this app is called Blue Light Filter for Eye Care. It's a big long name, but if you just search Blue Light Filter on the Play Store, you will find it. And so for a while, I've been looking for something like Flux for my phone. And if you don't know what Flux is, I have a review of it. I'll put it in the link in the description below and also annotate it here somewhere. And that is basically a program that will alter the color temperature of the monitor according to the time of day that it is. So if it's in the morning or in the middle of the day, your colors are going to be brighter, have a little bit more blue tint, blue tint to it like the sunlight. As the sun goes down, it becomes dusk, it becomes nighttime. This blue color is going to be pulled out of your monitor and then you're going to be with, left with a more warm yellowish tint to your screen. And then your eyes adjust to it and it's not as much strain on your eyes. Therefore, you won't get as many headaches at night. It'll help you fall asleep better. And it's just scientifically better for your health and your eyes not to be looking at these bright blue lights at night, especially before you're trying to go to sleep. And so this app is free on the Play Store and you can pay 99 cents to get rid of ads. And really the only ads that there are Sometimes you get a little banner ad up top, but it doesn't pop up like through your normal use of the phone, only inside the actual app. Um, but the app itself doesn't have a ton of features, but it doesn't really need a ton of features. Basically, you can turn the blue light filter on and off. You can change the opacity of which the filter actually works, the whole way from 0%, the whole way to 80%. You can actually change the filter color. I have mine on natural. Uh, you can turn it to yellow, brown, red, or black. And then you can change whether or not you want the filter on your navigation bar. Uh, you can have the shortcut on your status bar. You can have that always hidden, show sure only when the filter is enabled, and disabled always hidden. A couple options there. And then your other options are filter enabled on startup and show title on the filter. Show title on the filter, you don't want to do that. It just puts a blue light filter at the bottom of your screen. That's just not needed and it's annoying. And then I always do have filter enabled on the startup. And so my choice that I usually have is right around 40% opacity with natural colors. And honestly, I leave it on all the time. I don't change it because it doesn't have automatic changing. It can't change according to what time it is. That's not built into the app. Um, but it does um, just change whenever you want to change it. You can, like this morning, I had my phone, I turned it the whole way to 80%. Uh, that way, uh, it just doesn't change the brightness. It also changes the filter color. So I had it uh, more natural looking and 80% opacity. Um, so it was a very easy to look at when I woke up. I wasn't blinded trying to look at my phone screen. And then usually throughout the day, I turn it around 35 to 40 and I'm perfectly fine with that. The whole way to zero now looks very bright and it just hurts your eyes a little bit to look at it since I'm so used to looking at it at 40%. And now this app isn't perfect. It's not exactly like Flux. The operation of what it does is the same, like at the core, it changes the color temperature of your screen, but Flux automatically can detect whether or not you're actually, you know, during the day or during the night. This doesn't do that. Flux will automatically change on your computer whenever it becomes dusk. And there's a couple more options within Flux. You can disable for an hour. Um, you can disable until whenever. Uh, this doesn't have that. You just turn it on and off manually. And it's actually pretty easy because it keeps it in your notification tray whenever you actually have it on. It just says blue light filter, tap to disable it, or you can press the little gear button to go straight to the apps and you can just adjust it there. And so I'm very happy with it. And I would suggest it if you're looking for something to go easier on your eyes, on your phone at night. Um, I've used it nonstop, actually. I've never turned it off. And now if I'm looking at something that's a little more color sensitive, like pictures or watching a video and I want to see accurate colors, I, you can easily turn it off. Uh, but I do use it all the time and I really enjoy it. And I really do think it helps with your eyes whenever you're looking at it your phone either at night or early in the morning. And so I would suggest it, especially if you use something like Flux on your computer. And Flux does run on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and pretty much what anything else you wanna run it on in terms of computer. And I will leave a link to both Flux and uh, a link to the Google Play Store for Blue Light Filter down in the description below. And so that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and check out all my social links. They are all in the description below. Let me know if you use Blue Light Filter or if you use anything else for Android or if there's a solution for iOS. And let me know if you use Flux as well. I'm a big fan of Flux and Blue Light Filter. And so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.